or Facebook DMs, or if it's you're fortunate Tuesday to night. have a cell phone number. So Mullet Media is on downstairs right now, and if you don't know what that is, it's a show that Shane Graham does where basically he recaps the Rebel of Fat Laws for about an hour, and it went from Sundays he used to do it, now he's going to be doing it on Tuesdays. But we're watching that right now. I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you guys like Outlaw Kart Racing, you guys will definitely love the show. But anyway, I'll continue on with the video when it's done. Okay, so I am sitting right now in front of the camera. First off, I just want to say I absolutely love this setup. Having this extra mic, first off, it makes the quality so much better, like the audio quality, and the video quality is so much better. Like even, I don't really feel like I got like so much better at vlogging from having the G7X, like my last G7X videos to my first one in this, but just the quality of the video, in my opinion, makes it look just so much better. I, I love watching the video, actually. So I just wanted to say that before we got this video started. So the first thing that I did in today's video, I went down to the house, I looked at all the go-karts, roll the clip. So here is the state of my car at the moment. Basically what happened is we ended up getting home on Sunday and we thought something just wasn't right with the car. I don't think you guys could probably tell in the GoPro footage at all, but I just didn't have any traction really getting off the corner. I didn't feel like, like the car wasn't too loose, it wasn't too tight, it just, the setup wasn't there. I didn't have any rear grip. So we got home, me and my dad, we unloaded the trailer as usual, and then we're like, you know what, let's just tear down the car. We ended up tearing it down and it was cracked, or I should say the frame was broken in two places. Regardless of the state of the frame, I still did learn a ton on Saturday. I had some good racing, and yes, I was a little bit disappointed with the outcome. But you know what, in racing sometimes it's just like that. Here is the frame, they welded it up. So as you can see right there is where the frame broke. They welded it up, all the guys at Gianni Cat Incorporated, quick plug right there. That's my, that's my dad's business, they welded it up for me. This is not the exact frame that we will be running this weekend, but the one that we're putting under the car is the exact same thing, just without this. Also, after Carly's troubles this weekend, she bent up a few things, not as bad as mine, but uh, this is the aftermath and what her car looks like right now. So the rest of this week, me and my dad and my little sister Carly have a lot of work to do. But on the bright side, at least Carly's wing still looks, for the most part, new. But like I said a few clips earlier, Carly, my dad, and I have a lot of work to do this weekend, so we're gonna definitely jump right on that and not wait till the last minute. So if you rewind about two weeks ago, I announced that I now have merch. I have my Tanner Holmes hats. I've been selling them at the racetrack. First off, thank you to everyone who's bought one. They've been selling pretty good. Seems like you guys like them. And the guy who makes them, Roger Crockett Designs, once again, huge shout out. He makes such great hats. The quality of the hats is amazing. He's been doing lots of prototype hats, experimenting with different colors, and he's been coming out with lots of different ones. But I would say here in about two to three weeks, we'll like have our legitimate hat colors, you know, what me, my dad, how like our favorites are. Also, in the past few videos, I've talked about a website. So I've definitely been looking into that more, and maybe it might not just be a website, but like a Facebook post where you click a link and you can go through, and that's how you guys will purchase the hats. Right now, my mom and I were kind of just exploring all of our options because we definitely want to pretty soon have a way that you guys that are out of town, you guys obviously can't come to my races, can get those hats. But that has been a little bit of an ongoing process lately that we've been trying to get through. Also, the next thing that you guys have probably been wondering about is about two weeks ago, I talked about a giveaway for some gloves. Now, trust me, I didn't forget. I was actually going to do it the past week before this last Red Bluff Outlaw race, but I ended up getting sick like literally the night I was going to shoot the video. So today I went through all the comments and we picked one winner of the signed autograph gloves, but I'm also going to throw something in with it. The person who won is not just going to be getting autograph signed gloves, but I'm going to be throwing in one free Tanner Holmes hat. And since the merch just came out and lots of you guys have been loving it, I thought I would throw it in there. So in this sticky note, I have the winner of the gloves. First off, I just want to say thank you to everyone who commented on the video. I think there was over like 1,200 comments, by far the most I've ever had on a video. And a lot of you guys showed so much support commenting so many times. And I really like connecting with you guys down there. I try to respond to all the comments. On that video, it was kind of hard because like there was quite a few spam, which is understandable. I uh, kind of probably didn't have the best idea of how to do a giveaway. I said, you, just the more times you comment, the better chance you'll have at winning. And so a lot of you guys went down there and put... T-A-N-N-E-R, and you guys just, you know, spammed, obviously. Which, I don't blame you. If I was trying to win a giveaway, I would have done the same thing. But anyway, here is the winner in here. Drum roll, please. Okay, so the winner of the giveaway is Racing Adventures. So thank you, Racing Adventures, for commenting on that video and supporting me. If you see this video, make sure you comment down below. I'll try to get in contact with you so I can uh, get your address to be sending you these signed autograph gloves. 
Once again, thank you to everyone who participated in the giveaway and also stay tuned. I'm going to be doing so much more in the future. It seems like you guys kind of like the giveaways where it's somewhere involved that I've used it in racing, like the gloves or definitely the wing panels. You guys really liked that. So what I want to talk about for this next upcoming Red Bluff Outlaw race is it's Halloween. And usually Red Bluff does a little bit of trick or treating in between like the trophy dash and the A main. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. But a few years ago, they used to do like a haunted trailer contest. And when we first showed up to the Red Bluff Outlaws, like the first year, quite a few people actually participated in it. And then like, I think two years later, the last time I think they did it, it kind of slowed down just a little bit. I believe the last year they did it was 2012 and my mom and sister participated in it and they ended up winning the $100 for the contest. I'll put a photo up on the screen. And then I think this year they're doing the haunted trailer contest and then they're doing a costume contest. So I'm hoping we can participate. I definitely know we'll do the trailer, but me and Carly have been trying to talk some costumes to do that would be fun. So I always enjoy when Red Bluff does something like that. Like if you guys can remember last year we did the Mario Kart race, that was really fun. Once again, you guys are always asking me, Tanner, where can I get my outlaw carts? Make sure you guys go to qrccarts.com and cop your newest outlaw cart. Is that, that's what all the kids say nowadays, go cop it. Link will be in the description below for that. If you just call them up with the number on the screen, they will definitely take care of all of your outlaw cart needs. The next thing is Fast4 Media. So if you guys wanna watch live all my videos from Red Bluff, go to fast4media.com, link will be in the description below. They have some high quality footage. You can see everything basically of my races. And Kyler Shaw and the guys will be there every race this year, so you will never miss out on any action, West Coast Nationals included. If you guys wanna watch that, just go check it out in the description. And I said this earlier in the video, don't forget to check out Mullet Media. That's another great outlaw cart show. So entertaining to watch Shane and those guys. They might be going through a lawsuit soon, so make sure you check that out too. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And once again, oh, I was gonna say get your Tanner Holmes hats, but I'm not wearing mine. Mine's down in the trailer at Red Bluff. I'm going to try to put out a third YouTube video this week. I'm really not sure if it'll happen. Last week I was gonna have one, but then like I said, I got sick. So we'll kind of have to see. I'll either see you in the next one or at Red Bluff, but I'll see you later. Deuces. It's kind of weird. I have to put my whole hand, like the other lens, I could just cover it. This one, I have to make sure I fix it or not fix it. I have to make sure I cover it with my whole hand. Well, see ya.